So Jagdish, uh, you have come to me a couple of years back. Basically, you are searching for some peace in life, solution in life, which we call as a spiritual journey. What exactly is spiritual journey? The spiritual journey is to become the whole. What we call as Purna Madam, Purna Vidam, Purna Purna Mudhuchate. We want to feel whole. We want to have the feeling of wholeness or completeness in our life, which is somewhere missing. Right? One who is whole internally is called holy. The word holiness comes from the word whole, W H O L E, whole. If you are whole inside, you become holy. So people have tried to a lot of uh, things in life to feel that wholeness, right? We try to feel, we feel half or empty inside. We don't feel whole. That emptiness we want to fill up with a lot of things in life. The job, the money, the positions. Still that feeling of wholeness is not there. What is missing? What is really problem? The wholeness we are trying to search in the outer world, but whole is inside. <laughs> Actually, whole is inside, but whole we are trying to fill from outside. <laughs> Right? The emptiness or whole emptiness is inside. How we can fill up with the wholeness out from the objects of the world outside? There's a gap. When you get married, right? Why do you get married? Because you feel half and you're looking for a better half. So from outside, you want to make yourself full. You feel half inside. And you want a fullness from outside. So two halves can make a better half. Two halves make a whole. <laughs> That's what our struggle all of life is. <laughs> Not logically. From outside, we are trying to fill up gaps. The gaps are inside. Right? No matter what we do, solutions outside. If the gap is inside, how will you fill? Do you know why people get married? <laughs> See, all of us receive one cell from the father and one cell from the mother. That means 50 50 percent contribution is there from father and mother. But as you grow, the 50 percent of us get suppressed. You become masculine or feminine. So now, Deep inside, you are a man, then your motherly aspect is suspect or If you are a woman, your fatherly aspect is suspect. So, so you feel half inside. Okay. To fill that half, you are looking for a better half. That's marriage. <laughs> so in that process, a quarter is born, a child is born. <laughs> but half, half never becomes full inside because inside you are half. <laughs> so what exactly is the problem? Deep inside, our mind is split. We are living in a split mind. The mind is split between the subject and object. The body and the mind. The conscious mind and subconscious mind. There is a split. What do you mean by conscious mind, subconscious mind? Consciously, you feel, I mean, listening to a couple of Vedantras, you feel I am Brahman. Subconsciously, you feel I am the same stupid idiot. <laughs> The conscious, subconscious don't integrate. <laughs> right? If you listen to Kampala Bedanta, I'm Brahman, very clear. But deep inside, I'm same old fellow, <laughs> subconsciously. So there's a split between the conscious and subconscious. The mind is split. Subject and object, the body and the mind. Mind and the consciousness are the split. Atma and uh, mind and the Atma. So many splits are there. So, 
then the, then the split is where, there between the thinking mind and feeling. The feeling is called heart. Thinking is called mind. Thinking and feeling in you go together or uh, go opposite of each other? <laughs> right? So sometimes I feel something, but I do thinking is other way because thinking is useful for us living in the society. Feeling is our life. We don't go by feeling. We go by thinking because we want to please the society. There's a gap between thinking and feeling. There's a gap between left brain and right brain. Our left brain is logical, analytical. Right brain is intuitive, emotional. In most of us engineers and professionals, intuition is suppressed because only what gives money is analytics. Right? If you say I'm intuitive, nobody will pay you money. All right? So this left brain and right brain split is called right brain, left brain is called Shiva. It's not brain, it's called Shiva. The consciousness operating through the brain, left brain, is called Shiva. Consciousness operating through the right brain is called Shakti. Left brain is called ma masculine and right brain is feminine. There's, been, there's a split between the feminine and masculine aspect within you. So with all these uh, splits, uh, you still want to wholeness. <laughs> How will you find? <laughs> then you start something holy. Oh, that place is holy. You go to a holy place. How you can find a holiness when you are not whole? There is a hole, H O L E hole inside you. Big hole, the big gap. That gap is called dissatisfaction. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. How do you fill that hole? So that is spiritual journey. So basically, the spiritual journey, there are only two aspects, two dimensions of spiritual journey. Self-enquiry and surrender. Self-enquiry, enquiring who am I? This is uh, two parts, self-enquiry and surrender. is taught by Ramana Maharshi. So either you say, do enquire and find out who you are. Actually, after inquiry, you'll find out that I cannot find myself. <laughs> it's not that you'll find somebody. You'll find that whatever identities which I assume are as false. The real I has no identity, free from all identities. So that's called self-inquiry. So Ramana Maharshi says, I do do, either do self-inquiry or surrender. Self-inquiry is a left brain oriented process. Surrender is the right brain oriented process. Self-inquiry is masculine. Surrender is feminine. Surrender is accepting life as it comes. Whereas, left brain doesn't accept anything. It's ego. I will achieve something. I will do something. All right? So, what is your attitude to life? Surrender or I'll achieve something? <laughs> right? Left brain, there's ego. Okay? Because left brain is connecting with the outer world. It has identity. And all your life you try to do preserve your identity. That's called ego. So Ramana Maharshi says, do self-inquiry, find out who I am. I. Then you'll find out all identities are false. That's a state of egolessness. So then, or you just surrender. Whatever, except whatever happens in my life is a God's will. That's called right brain. So there's a masculine approach and feminine approach to life for wholeness. A best approach is both put together, masculine and feminine. It's not one approach itself is fine. So there is there are two spiritual paths. Path of a monkey baby and path of a cat's baby. The monkey baby when the monkey, mother monkey jumps from tree to tree, the monkey ba baby has to hold her. The wants is on the baby. On the other hand, cat's baby knows the mother will take care. Mother will catch hold of the baby and take home. So the cat's baby business, cat's baby approach 
is called feminine. What will happen to be? I'll surrender. And masculine approach is, I'll find out. <laughs> it's monkey baby, monkey baby. <laughs> and most of us are monkey babies. I have to achieve something. I have to achieve enlightenment. I want to get something out of life. <laughs> because left brain is mostly outward focused. Society focused. Right brain is mostly inward focused. So can we heal this masculine feminine inside us? Shiva and Shakti, can it, they become one inside us? Conscious mind and subconscious mind can become one, one inside us. The whole thing can be healed. Can it be healed? Can the inner and outer reality become one reality? Subject of the duality can be healed. This healing process is called spiritual journey. When you are healed, you are whole. You are whole. Otherwise, you have a hole, H O L E hole, big hole inside, gap. Can you heal that hole so that you become whole, W H O L E? And if you become whole, you become holy. <laughs> whole to whole to holy. <laughs> this is the journey. Is it possible? So, self inquiry or Vedanta is there to take you to a level where all egos are false. Then your left brain will become silent, has to become silent. If it's craving for more and more information, more and more knowledge, something is missing, this, the hole is not gone. There's a gap. The purpose of Vedanta is not to acquire more knowledge. The other purpose of Vedanta is to dissolve whatever knowledge you have. <laughs> It is not to know more things. It is to know who you are. To realize that I cannot know myself. So I am nobody, not a body, not a mind, not an intellect. That's the purpose of Vedanta. All my aspirations, all my desires, all my liking and disliking is coming from wrong understanding of myself. So what is the right, right understanding of myself? Nanu. Nanu. Nanembudu. Nanalla. Ideha. Mana buddhi, nanalla, sachidanandatma, shivanandani, shivoham, shivoham, shivoham. I'm not the body, I'm not the mind, I'm not the intellect. So this is the... If you're not the body, mind, intellect, all your desires, all your aspirations, all your fears, all your anxieties are meaningless. Utterly meaningless. But the problem is, after a lot of self-inquiry also, I'm still, I am what I am. <laughs> Why? Because... Your subconscious part of the mind still has a retains your identity. Conscious and subconscious are not healed. Right? So the process of healing is called meditation. And key to this healing is breath. Why breath is important? Because our life is nothing but breath. We have a lot of uh, imaginations about life. Life is about experience. Life is about success. Life is about marriage. Life is about children. But coming to brass root level, Life is food. Right? If you don't take food, your life is gone. Three weeks of food, if you don't stop three weeks of food, you're gone, dead. So life is food one way. More important, life is water. Because if you don't take water for three days, you'll be ill. More important than water is the breath. If you don't take breath for three minutes, you'll be dead. So all you are your all illusions for life. Life is about success, life is about enlightenment, life is about liberation. <laughs> right? Life is about breath. At the basic level. So, food if you don't take, will die in three days, three weeks. Water if you take, don't take, will die in two days, um, three days. Food is, food is three weeks, water three days, and breath is three minutes. Which is more important for us? Breath is more important. Breath is life. So, can we Correct our breathing. Is our breathing all right? If breathing is all right, our life should be full. It should be full. Right? Our breathing is corrupted by habit patterns of breathing. So if you notice one thing in life, the breath is the one which connects our conscious and subconscious activity. So you don't have to worry about breathing. It will happen sub unconsciously. But you can consciously do breathing also. 
So breath is the only thing which you have conscious and subconscious control, both ways. Can you utilize that to heal the mind? To heal the split mind? That is the key. That's what I'm going to teach you now. How to work on the breath to feel the healing within. To feel whole within. To feel holy. Any questions? So any questions for people on Zoom? Controls our subconscious activity. Left brain controls our logic and thinking outward. Right brain is inward. So the breath which connects both can be used for healing our life. So the breath is two types. What you call as breath, you take through nose. It, is the, it takes oxygen. Okay. So that is called gross breath. There is a subtle breath called prana which is life force within us. So working on the gross breath and subtle breath can give us, give us a lot of relief in life. It can heal our life. Any questions, Satyavati, Gayatri? Hari Om Guruji, question is not question. Why is this not a question? It's not a question. It's not a question. The question is, I have gone through a lot of self-inquiry and all for many years. Uh -huh. Still, I am not feeling I am complete. Okay. Right? Mm. So, for that I am giving answer is that we are feeling incomplete inside. This is split. Mm. Mind. mind is split. Between the masculine aspect of us and feminine aspect of us. Between the thinking and the feeling. Between the conscious mind, subconscious mind. Between the inner and outer. Between the spiritual and material. So, we have a split this split has to be healed. So this split is called whole. H O L E whole. Now because we are whole, we are trying to find a solution. The whole is inside. The whole has to be healed. The healing of the whole can be done with the breath. And when you heal the whole, you will feel whole. W H O L E whole. If you are whole, you will feel holy. That's called spiritual journey. Is it clear? So Gayatri or Satyavati, any questions are there? If there are no questions, we'll stop this recording.